I'm out doing my jog. So, you know, I, I've wondered what is my YouTube video or YouTube channel all about. And what I found out is that I got so many hobbies and so many things that I do that it just needs to be about a 68 year old guy, because that's how old I am, learning a, a bit about life and never stopping to learn. That's that's what my YouTube video or my YouTube channel is about. So that's why you see all kinds of different things on my channel. And um, I've always liked to run. I started running in high school, not on any track team or anything, but I was on the wrestling team. I'm a stocky, kind of uh, muscular built guy. And um, so I don't have a runner's body, but I learned to run in uh, getting in preparation for wrestling by going out with what we did at that time in the 1970s was put on a plastic suit and just go out running and you just ran you didn't know anything about running you just ran and so 68 years later about two months ago after running my whole life doing four marathons um, a half iron man and a whole bunch can't even count how many half marathons I've done. Um, I've learned to, to run more efficiently just in the last two months, if you can believe that. It's something that uh, I've learned just by stumbling on a YouTube video. It's the uh, Zone 2 Running. Um, Maffetone, MAF, goes by all kinds of different names, but it's basically, I used to run for pace, I used to run to see how fast I could do a mile or a 5K or a half marathon or that kind of thing. And training was the same way. Just go out and run, run hard, try to do better each time. And and that worked for a while, but then I just plateaued and I never really got injured, which was really a kind of a unique thing because I'm a, I'm a uh, heel striker. And you can tell that because of my shoes on the outer rear side of my heel it I hit every time and I wear that part of the heel down in no time flat so you know anyone that knows anything about running knows that you don't strike your foot in front of your center of mass which I've been doing all my life and even though I was able to run pretty quick I was putting the brakes on with every single downstroke of my foot so I'm now running under my center of gravity, or under my center of mass, and with my foot hitting mostly flat, and I'm also increased my cadence to 100 beats per minute, 180 beats per minute, which if anybody has run it, my, my 165, you try to go from 165 to 180 um, in two months, it's not easy, and what I found myself doing is running by heart rate so i got myself a new watch that does all that stuff i got myself a a chest strap that i wear every time that checks my heart rate and i run i run to heart rate now it's not pace just heart rate and right now i'm trying to keep my heart rate below 128 which it's above now i think it's because i'm talking while i'm running but and my pace at less than 128 beats per minute, because remember, I'm 68. You, if you're 40, may have a heart rate um, at this, running at this same level that I'm at of maybe 140 or something like that, that you gotta stay under. But I'm at 118 or 120, something like that, 128 max. So, that's, uh, that's kind of what I'm doing. And so my, base run which is what I'm on right now it's a 39 minute base run that uh, I just just now finished uh, let me stop my watch real quick so it's on stop okay I have a Garmin I bought a uh, Garmin 365 uh, or 265 Garmin 265 that's what I run with now and I love this thing. It does everything. In fact, I was telling my wife about it, and um, we've nicknamed her. She now has a gender. 
she is a female and her name is Lucy because Lucy tells me everything I'm supposed to do. She tells me what my heart rate's supposed to be, how long I sleep, you know, if I got good sleep last night or bad sleep. There's something called a body battery, body battery. <laughs> Never heard of such a thing, but in the morning, my body, my body battery is 85%. It's like charging up your phone, you know? You got your body battery, and so right now, this morning, I think my body battery was 91, and I'm probably down to uh, 60, 70, something like that after this run. So I'm done with my run. I actually kept on running, but I'm done. So I'm going to, oh, I've got the thing covered, so back to this one. So anyway, um, I'm gonna take you on my journey. I just started doing this about two months ago. They say that the longer you do the space aerobic running, you will increase your pace at the same heart rate. So that's my goal. Maybe within a few months of doing this over and over and over again and running inside my aerobic range, zone two they call it, I will be able to increase my pace and uh, keep the same heart rate. So. That's the goal, and what they say is that, that it, it makes you faster. Well, I'm gonna find out a little bit about that. I think it's too early yet, but next week, I go for a run in Savannah. It's a, uh, it's called the Juneteenth Run, 6.19 kilometers, which is really strange distance. I'm used to 5Ks and 10Ks and half marathons and that kind of thing, and uh, UCF has a five miler, which I do, which is kind of weird because it's not a 10K, it's a five miler. And so this is gonna be strange because I have to pace myself because this time I am going for pace. And I'm going to try to do, now remember my base running is about 11 to 12 minute miles. I'm gonna to try to do this in eight and a half minute miles, 8.30. So that's my goal, to be under, right, just a little over or right around 30 minutes for this 3.84 mile run we'll see how that works so anyway that's enough for now i'm gonna post this to youtube and start my uh, hobby of running so you can follow along if you want to and and see how i move along throughout the next months and and years and i have a half marathon schedule at the end of this year it's the ouc half marathon i like to do it i've done it many 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 times i can't even count how many um, I've got so many medals up on my board, I, you know, there's, they're just up there. So, um, yeah, and then next year, if, if this works out and I'm still in pretty good shape and this base running works, works for me, um, then I'm going to think about a, a marathon. And after that, um, remember, I'll be about 69 years old by then, um, an ultra, which I'd love to do. I'd love to do an ultra. And I'd also like to do an, a full Ironman. I did a half Ironman. That was the most grueling thing I'd ever done in my life. If you want to experience pain, well, it, and believe me, it wasn't my conditioning. I was in good, good shape when I did that. But what killed me was nutrition. I had knew nothing about what I was supposed to eat during the run, drinking, salt, tablets, you name it, any of that stuff. I had no idea. And I got into the, I, I did the swim. I'm a strong swimmer. Did the swim fast came out of my age group at around third or fourth out of the water 56 mile ride which was pretty fast that's where I started to make mistakes big mistakes because I didn't eat properly I didn't drink properly I just rode and started running got to mile eight and just bonked I mean I had nothing I had nothing left I was just gone and, and started to feel terrible walked to the finish line, made it to the finish line, got through that half Ironman, but I'll, if I ever do another one, which I'm planning on, if I ever do another one, or when I do another one, I will certainly put nutrition in front of conditioning, although they're almost on par, but nutrition, what to eat when, how to eat during the race, how, what to drink during the race, how much salt you have during the race because I, I got to a subway after that I, I, I felt kind of okay when I stopped walked to my car loaded up my bike drove down the road and started to feel lightheaded 
got to a subway and uh, almost almost uh, passed out while I was in line and had to get some people to help me and they put some if you ever get in that situation coca-cola straight coca-cola not diet not anything like that just straight coca-cola you get the sugar and you get the salt and you get that in your system fast and that brings you back pretty pretty quick anyway enough for now um, I'll be back in a week after the Juneteenth and let you know how it went <laughs>